good afternoon. Report, soldier. Any luck? None, sir. We persuaded him, we threatened him, we even beat him. Still wouldn't talk. Ah, damn it all. Unsurprising, though. Sadly. This one's stubborn. Too stubborn for his own good. Still, you did all you could. And that's admirable in itself. Now go. Get back to your regular shift. Damn it all. I'm at a loss. Divines. How can I get that damned guy to shut up and comply? What was that conversation about? It was about possibly the most stubborn prisoner we've ever captured and incarcerated here. We caught him crossing the border a few days ago. Since then, he's been raving incoherently. Well, he's coherent, but near delusional. We've been meaning to interrogate him, but every time I've sent one of my soldiers to do it, he's refused. And, you know the worst damned part? I feel for him. He's clearly somewhere between naive and insane. And the Penitus Oculatus aren't the most merciful sort. They'll come for him soon, make no doubt about it. And when they do, he'll face a fate much worse than any of my troops could dispatch. It's not the best situation, but my hands are tied. Some gold, sure. Why? You thinking of helping? It's not common practice, but considering what the alternative would be, and how uncooperative this particular prisoner is, I can't really say no. He's in the prison wing of the fort. One moment. Take this. A letter proving that I've given you authorization to go in there. Best of luck, and thanks for helping us with this. Hmm? It's rough and tumble, to say the least. This place is damned freezing. I don't tend to cross the border. This is as close as I get to the cold climes of the Nord homeland. I guess the Nords serving with us are used to this. They laugh it off while they rub their beards and puff their chests. But I can't stand it. If you mean the border itself, though... Few people tend to come through. The Empire does know how to lock down a border when it tries. So we're here mostly as a last resort. See you around. Can I help you? Hold. This is the prison wing of Fort Pale Pass. If you want to get in, I'm the one to grant you access. But I can only grant that access with the authorization of our commander, Legate Priscilius Varro. Let me take a look at that. Hmm, seems authentic. Yeah, that's the Legate's hand, all right. Okay. Head on in, I'll unlock the door. Do whatever you have to do. Oh, I should warn you. Once you head in there, we're putting the fort on high alert. Locking the doors. Just a heads up, this prisoner's been known to get a little irate during questioning. Don't want him making a break for the exit door. All right, doors open. Good luck in there. Gods know you'll need it.
help you? Hello. Can I help you? What? Who are you? You are not one of these damned Imperial soldiers. Are you here to rescue me? Questions? Ha! Do your worst, dog. I will never break. Never! Bluffing! The Penitus Oculatus! They don't even exist! An old wives' tale! An old wives' tale! Ha! I'm not going to tell you a thing! Oh! Oh! Easy! Easy! Don't kill me! Skyrim is suffering under the Empire's yoke! We're not even allowed to worship our own damned gods! You wouldn't understand. You're an Imperial dog. A toady for the Dalmor. But we deserve freedom! And to truly achieve freedom, we need to end the Empire. Strike at its heart. Cyrodiil, the Imperial city. And the rest will crumble. Talos, here comes the damn jailer. Just what I needed. Someone else to rub salt in the wound. I see your interrogation's going well. Better than any of the other sops that I've tried, at any rate. Bloody jailer. Come to gawk at the poor, helpless Stormcloak. You'll pay, damned Imperial! You'll all pay! <laughs> you say that every day. Still haven't found a way to break through those bars, though, have you? The information you've gotten out of him so far? Good work. You've gotten the basics out of him, but the Legate needs to know everything we can possibly extract. So... Well, best not let the prisoner hear our little chat. Follow me. Bye. Hello. Thought we needed to get away from prying ears. Last thing we need is to let the prisoner in on our techniques. Now we know the guy's plot. Heard it straight from the horse's mouth. But we need to know more. This time you need to take on a few different lines of attack. Find out who sent him, if he came with anyone else, and where they may be. And try not to lose track of time. The Pentatus Oculatus will be here soon, and the Legate wants us to get the information out of him, not them. Good luck. Goodbye. You know what? While you were back there exchanging poisonous words with your jailer friend, I've decided I'm not talking. Mm-hmm. No more! Ha! I'm not going to tell you a thing! Fine, fine. I crossed the border through Serpent's Trail, an old smuggling route. I... We're not part of the main Stormcloak army. At least, not anymore. We call ourselves the Stormcloak Breakaways. Fine, fine. I'll do 
tell you everything, silver-tongued scam. There are others. Not sure how many. It was never in command, just their forward scout. One of them, at any rate. But I know of at least six others. Three of them crossed the border, came down here. Not reported back in weeks. The others, three of them, waiting on the Skyrim side of the border, lying in wait, waiting for my report. Given that I've been stuck in here for days, bet they're running out of patience right quick. But he has connections. Stormcloak breakaways, eh? Hmm. So even Ulfric Stormcloaks aren't extreme enough for some of his flunkies. Pfft. <laughs> Stir-crazy Nords. Six accomplices. Hmm. Not quite an army, but a formidable force given a clever and able commander. I see. Well, thank you, I... What the... Quick, follow me. Get the door open, or the jailer and his little boot licker come back! Shut up and keep it down! I'm working on it. But turns out, buying stacks of black market invisibility potions leaves little coin for lockpicks. Who made that noise? Hold <laughs> you! Yes, <laughs> uh, Stendar's mercy! Stormcloaks have breached the fort! I'll stand watch here and keep an eye on that damn... Prisoner, go find the legate. Warn him. Let him know what's going on. Time to oh, die. There you are. Found you once again. You're just a fool. Don't hurt me. You'll never leave here alive. I submit. Victory once again. Soldier, report. Where's the prisoner? That's a relief. Hmm. I guess these blasted Stormcloaks are trying to rescue that damned prisoner. Divines forsake them, and Dagon take them! Hello? Stay on alert, everyone! Might be more of these Stormcloaks yet. Goodbye. The 
Penitus Oculatus. What are we to have for yes, dinner? Yes, yes. We are the Penitus Oculatus. A thrill for soldiers posted in a frigid backwater such as this, I'm sure. The prisoner. Now, Varro. I... this one. Here. I hired them to interrogate him after our own efforts proved fruitless. I suggest you two have a conversation first. The Legate's disobeying command. You can't simply let him... Enough. Come then, let us speak. And see whether or not your findings are as interesting as the Legate seems to believe. So, what did you discover? How many accomplices does he have? Where are they active? What faction does he belong to? Stormcloak breakaways. Interesting. But more importantly, accomplices. While this ill-fated little prison break revealed that much, the prisoner's confession suggests more widespread activity than previously assumed. Goodbye. Ah, it seems the prisoner's here now. I must say, Legget, your operation is quite efficient. Are you really going to take him away? His plot was stupid. There's no way he could have done it. He might be insane for all we know. The security of the Empire comes before all else, Legget. You will come to understand this in time. You there! You may be a lapdog of the Imperials, but it's not too late! Put down these damned Imperials! Free me! Don't let them cart me away! Enough of these foolish overtures. This way. Not exactly the outcome I was hoping for. But the Empire is what it is. The best damned hope for Tamriel, warts and all. Still, you did what I asked of you, and accomplished it well. Here's your payment. I'll try not to think of the poor guy's fate. Not even a Stormcloak deserves to suffer the Penitus Oculatus' interrogation techniques. Talk to you later. Can I help you? Because the Empire's got the border locked up tighter than a Khajiit skooma horde. Normally, this inn would be a hive of activity as travelers stream down the Geralds, heading to Cyrodiil. Now it's just an inn in the middle of nowhere. And I'm alone. Even more so since I lost old Barnius. Why run an inn in the rear end of the Gerald Mountains? I suppose that's a valid question as any. I built this place, board by board, you know. Well, I should have given old Barney some credit. He was the moral support I needed when the going was tough. Back in the day, this place used to be an absolute hive of activity. Incredibly busy and incredibly lucrative. Lots of patrons, and even more coin. You know, travelers going between Cyrodiil and Skyrim and all that. Sadly, the Empire put a stop to that. 
instituting tight border control with the outbreak of the Civil War. But Snowstone Rest is, and always has been, my prize. And, in all honesty, my true home. Even if it doesn't get much business these days. My old dog. I love dogs. Most faithful companions a man can have. He died a few years ago. The cold got to him. He never liked the cold. Was used to the temperate climes down south. He was my truest friend. And now he's gone. The customers at least used to distract me, but now I don't even have them. Speaking of which, I've been meaning to leave an offering at his grave. Just behind the inn. Something to pay my respects. Remember a lifelong loss, you know. Problem is, I'm not really up to going around and gathering the stuff together. The wilderness is dangerous, and I don't want to die to a timber wolf or an ogre. But who knows what else? Thank you, Traveler. You are truly a generous soul. I'll reward you with what little coin I can spare. Just to say thanks. If you could gather some mother word for me, I'd be able to lay an offering for old Barnius. Just a few should do. Return the mother word to me, and I'll be able to leave an offering and feel a little more at peace for a few more years. The name's Arnoth. Arnoth the Bright-Eyed. Bart by trade. In the mood to be regaled with song? Rumors? In Snowstone Rest? Uh, as much as I love the atmosphere here, the inn is hardly all that busy nowadays. Closest thing to a rumor around here is the sound of the hearth. Burning away. Like it always does. Well, I did hear a rumor that there's a Bosmer Bard in a tavern near the Skyrim border who's currently looking for work. I heard tell that he's currently employed, but in the arse end of nowhere. So, you know, he's always available. If anyone divines, please, if anyone's interested. Well, actually, I have heard talk of a bizarre little creature running around stealing chickens. And pies. Oh, and chicken pies. Down in the Blackwood. Heard folk down there have taken to calling it the Munchkin. No! Oh, like politics? <sighs> well, it's no secret that the Empire and Aldemiri Dominion are plotting against each other. Even if neither of them care to admit it. People are doomsaying. Saying that Cyrodiil is about to descend into another great war. I don't know what to make of it, and I don't much like contemplating my own death, so I try not to think about it too much. Me? <laughs> I learned back down in Valenwood. I wasn't taught, per se, but ever since I first got my hands on a lute, I knew it was my calling. The feeling as your finger twangs on the lute strings. The thrill of rapturous applause. <sighs> That's the life for me. Of course, not many Bosmer get a loot. You gotta import them. Green packed and all that. You can't go cutting down trees in the Valenwood. From Airless? Yeah. Oh. You mean actual rapturous applause, though, right? Well, the answer is sadly. Uh, no. <clears throat> not anymore. This place used to be packed with travelers crossing the border in both directions. Since the Skyrim Civil War, and the Empire tightening border restrictions? Let's just say Snowstone doesn't get much business anymore. But well. Damn it, Dorin. Run out of Cyrodiil, all for daring to offend Dorina's band of criminals and cut purses. What's wrong? I'm being forced to flee my home, that's what's wrong. All because of those damned cutters. I... got on their bad side. Angered the wrong people. Fought a little bit too tirelessly when they attacked the wagon I was escorting. 
Long story short, I need out of Cyrodiil. They're chasing me as we speak. I just stopped in here to get a bit of Nord fire in my belly for the trip. Actually, I hate to ask this of you, but could you deliver this note to my brother, Holgard? He runs Northern Arms, the smithy in Bruma. Thank you so much, Traveler. I'd be happy to give you directions to Bruma if you need them. Once you get to the city, just find the smithy, Northern Arms. It's on the north side of town. Best of luck, friend. And thank you. Yes! You shall be the inspiration for my new character! The... The Vagabond! Awestruck by my presence, yes? Many are. It is I, Quintus Ambivio, Master Thespian, darling of the Nern Theater, the man of many faces, 
himself. Ah, uh, no autographs. Yes, the Nern Theater, the center stage of the Imperial City, of the world. And they cast me out. The irredeemable fools. Ah, uh, it would be unaccommodating of me to expect Cretans such as themselves to understand my work. Although after the incident with Classius Curio, perhaps it's for the best I don't return for a while. Hmm. Classius Curio, the patron of the Nern Theater, the head of the Emperor's Men acting troupe. Hmm. Evidently, his family's renowned playwriting ability didn't quite reach him. I tell you, his renown? Entirely unearned. A farce. Someone should teach that Cretan a lesson. Hmm. Perhaps I shall do so. Sadly, I cannot. Not yet. I've not yet become one with the Vagabond. Much less the overrated playwright spanker. So no, not quite yet. But one day, and soon. <laughs> Sorry, friend. I, I must have misheard you. Did you say, teach you? About acting? I don't teach, nor do I act. I am a master of my craft. I live my characters. But I suppose I could share some. Acting, like politics, is about honesty. Fake honesty and you'll do just fine. Here, there, and everywhere, my travel-worn friend. Castle to castle, palace to palace. All the world is my stage. Well, mostly I just perform for bored nobles for patronage. I miss the crowds, uncouth and uncultured as they were. Farewell! Perhaps you shall soon see me on stage as you, the Vagabond! My next great character. Just... You wait! Don't even think about it, Footpath. Self-important idiot. I had to rescue him from bandits once after he approached them to... Be more careful! Self-important idiot. I had to rescue him from bandits once after he approached them to get into their mindset. Self-important idiot. I had to rescue him from bandits once after he approached them to get into their mindset. 